What's up everyone? Welcome to my review on Alfred 2. I made a review on Alfred 1 a while back, and since they've come out with a second version, I thought I'd make another video. Essentially, Alfred is a replacement for Max Spotlight, which is up here in the top right corner of your desktop, and you probably never use it, just like I never did. But regardless of whether you use it or not, I highly recommend using Alfred. You access Alfred using a keyboard shortcut, and I'm going to go ahead and jump right into Preferences. And I'm going to show you around a little bit, show you some of my favorite parts. I believe I'm running version 2.0.2, and I have the Power Pack installed. I forget how much the Power Pack costs exactly, but it's basically the paid version of Alfred, and it unlocks a ton of new features. In the general pane, you can set your Alfred hotkey, you can select whether you want Alfred to launch at login, etc, etc. I'm going to go into features here. There are lots of features. Only a few of these panes are open in the free version of Alfred, but in the Power Pack version, all of these, you can go ahead into all of these and activate them all. One of my favorite features is the iTunes feature, which lets you open up a special Alfred um, iTunes mini player. I'm going to go ahead and open that for you. It looks pretty good, if you ask me. You can search through all your li through your whole library. You you can go through your artists, albums, playlists, and you can play your music through Alfred. And it's I think it, the player looks pretty good. And you can just hit the escape key, and it disappears. So it's pretty minimalist, and it stays out of your way. You can also create um, workflows through Alfred. It's a lot simpler than using Automator, and I'm sure you can get pretty detailed over here and do some pretty hefty create some pretty hefty workflows I haven't gone into detail with this so you'll have to check that out for yourself I've only made one for myself here my favorite pane is the appearance pane and here you can create your own themes and edit the colors and do all that fun stuff you have a few default themes and then you can create your own so I'm gonna go ahead and create one I'm gonna call it gray just because I'm that creative and here you go, I've made a new theme called gray, and I'm going to go ahead and edit these colors. And to edit the colors of a theme, you simply click on the space you want to change. So here I'll click on the text bar and change it to something like, that looks pretty good. I don't like this purple, so I'm going to change that maybe to white, change that to white. So you get the picture, you can go ahead and change all these colors. And here's my new theme. Looks pretty good. That's about all I want to cover in this video. So that's Alfred 2, and I think it's a great upgrade from Alfred 1. And with the Power Pack, it's definitely a fun application to have, as well as being very useful. It's a lot faster than Spotlight. It's a lot more clean. I like the way it looks. I like the way it works. I highly recommend this to anyone, whether you use Spotlight or not. Whether you use your computer for work or fun, Alfred is just a great application to have around. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you stick around for new videos. I hope you watch some old ones. And cheers, everyone.